Hey there, everyone. What is going on? Welcome back. I hope you're ready. I hope you are ready to get your Eric Johnson on. This was the most requested guitar hack video, and I was like, yo, I'm always down to make an Eric Johnson video, so we're gonna do it today. You can get the tabs if you want to, link down below. You can also just see the tabs in the video. I don't know if you can see it there behind me, but we're giving away that Blackguard Fender Telecaster, so if you haven't heard about that giveaway yet, I'll link that down below as well. We're gonna announce the winner on Saturday, and we're giving away another guitar, so check that out. So the Eric Johnson hack. Now there have been roughly, I don't know, two, I think I counted them, yeah, 300 million videos <laughs> made about the Eric Johnson Descending 5. So I was like, I don't wanna do that. I've, I, I have contributed to that 300 million number myself with a few different Eric Johnson videos, and I was like, you know what? One of my favorite things that Eric does is these big shifts where he, like sometimes he'll stay in one position, you know, where he's playing and he might be doing the fifths or, you know, not fifths, but just sending five. You know, he does that, but then he like, well, all of a sudden, vroom, he zips down here and you're like, whoa, I remember like trying to learn his stuff and even if it might be the same note, you know, stuff like that. So I have a couple different ideas here. I want to show you how you're navigating around and if you're not used to this and you kind of play more your pentatonic boxes in order, this is really going to break you out of that. Okay, so here's idea number one of the Eric Johnson hat. You know, and then just, just tear it up into one of those Eric Johnson descending fives. So we're all thinking, you know, minor pentatonic here, E minor pentatonic. And like I said before, a lot of times where, you know, normal players like myself, we might play the boxes in order. Eric jumps, he might skip, you know, entire octaves at times, or he, he'll go from box one down to you know, the octave lower of box two or some crazy stuff. You know, he's, he's Eric Johnson. He does what he wants. So here's what we're doing with this one. Now, instead of going through our box four E minor pentatonic scale, and I got some fuzz going on today, get that kind of a fuzzy Eric Johnson tone. Um, and, and, and part of the things you have to understand about Eric is that Eric has a large tone and just a large sound. So. And what I mean by that is, you know, think about the way he does his triad. You know, there's huge intervals between these notes, uh, and there's just so much distance between the, the note choices. So that kind of makes sense that he likes to jump around and do these big shifts. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna go seven to 10 on the A. And I am alternate picking all of this. And it's all just normal pentatonic. You know, Eric is gonna spice it up with kind of his Dorian or Mixolydian vibe that he likes to add uh, at times, but we're just gonna stick to good old minor pentatonic today. So seven to 10 on the low E, seven to nine on the D, okay? Now your instinct might be to either just kinda keep going, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna ignore that and we're going to skip box five and the rest of box four completely and go all the way up to box one. Here's what I'm talking about. That shift right there, if you're not used to these shifts, this is a good exercise. Okay, so I'm gonna go seven, 10, seven, nine, whoa, jump up here, 12, 14 on the G, 12, 15. Now, uh, for me, I changed the fingering I'm using too. So I go pointer pinky, pointer ring, then I shift up and I go pointer middle, pointer ring. It's just what works for me. Do whatever works best for you. Okay? Now there's that part of it. And what I do is I jump up here now to box three. And I'm gonna go, again, look how I went from box one. <laughs> Not today, box two. See you later. Up to box three. So I'm gonna go 17 on the B to 20 on the high E, or sorry, 20 on the B. So 17, 20 on the B. And high E string is 17, 19. Okay? Just like that. And I, again, I'm using these three fingers. My, I, I got big old clunky fingers, so when I get up here, I tend to use these three more than my pinky. Okay? There we go. Now, once you get to where you can ascend it, descend that puppy. Oh, hold on. I had to remember to stick to just pentonic, but, uh, you know, and throw in your other Eric Johnson lick. 
So obviously you could just us and Adisa in that last one and still get the same overall concept of what I'm about to show you, but I thought let's do a whole nother pattern and we're just gonna start on the descending. So we're gonna go like this. I threw that one little like funky note in there just cause I was like, you know, Eric throws in these really cool chromaticisms every once in a while. Cause if you ever, if you haven't listened to the, uh, what is it called? Electromagnetics, I think was his old band from the seventies. But it was like jazz fusion stuff. So you'll hear Eric do that all the time. But um, this one, right there, as you, as you speed it up, that it kind of makes more sense, doesn't it? So I'm all the way up here. Let me get my hair out of the way. Okay. And I'm thinking box two, E minor pentatonic, you know, in the BB box right here. So I'm going to go 17 to 15 on the high E to the B. Now, I'm going to skip box one. It's not today, box one, sorry. And I go to box number five. And I go to the G and the D. So I'm gonna go 12 to nine, and then 12 to nine on the D, okay? Okay, awesome. You know, whatever you want, still alternate picking everything. And I shift down one more time, and I'm gonna go down to box three. So I'm gonna go seven to five on the D. Okay? Now on the A string here, here's why I just, like I said, I just chose to add a funky note, because why not? You're gonna go six to five on the A, and then seven. Now if you don't like that kind of out of key, that, you know, that uh, flat right there, feel free to just double down and go, you know, seven, five, seven. I like that. It just made it sound a little bit weird. You could also go, you know, lots of different combinations. Maybe you could work on ascending the first one and descend this one. Oh. There you have it. Alrighty guys, there you have it. Like I said before, you can get the tabs down below if you want to. If you're still enjoying these hack videos, who should we do next? Who's next on this, on the old chop and block? Cause that's one of the cool things about Eric Johnson. I love his big, just big shifting style, you know? Uh, even more than sometimes those, you know, descending fives, which are sweet and very addicting. And his, of course, his, you know, major minor. All that stuff, also super fun. But man, try those big shifts out. So I'm gonna see you all later. Like I said before, I don't know if you can see it, but it's back there. We got that Blackguard Telecaster that we are giving away. Uh, on Saturday, so you still got a chance to enter that giveaway if you want to. It's super simple. You just got to subscribe and leave a comment. And uh, that's all linked down below. So until next time, guys, I'll see you all later. Bye, homies. Woo!